morning, welcome to another vlog. I uh, am getting ready for the day and I have decided that today is the day. Today is the day that I need to clean my closet. I wanted to do this during Mishmas. I put it off because I don't want to do this. <laughs> I don't want to do this, I don't want to do this. But my closet is so out of control that it, um, it needs to be organized, um, it needs to be cleaned out. I don't anticipate actually um, like donating a lot of clothing because I did a lot of that before we moved here, uh, which was less than a year ago. So um, I, I'm sure there'll be some, but I don't, this is not like a closet declutter video. This is definitely more of a closet clean, organize video. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. I really have been kind of like dreading this and putting this off. And you know, a lot of the reason why <laughs> I've been putting this off is because, well, one, I wanted to vlog it for you guys. Um, I think I mentioned it briefly in a Mishmas video that it's something that I wanted to do. And I got so many comments like, oh, yes, did you say like closet <laughs> organization, closet clean? And I was like, oh no, I gotta do this. Um, so I wanted to share it with you guys. So a lot of my hesitation, I'm not gonna lie, is that I am uh, embarrassed. I am embarrassed at the state of my closet. But, uh, you know, not to make any excuses or whatever, but our closet needs, um, you know, like customization. It needs like built-ins. It's just one empty room uh, when we moved in. And I was like, all right, well, we'll get like California closets in here. We'll do that eventually. And we just kept putting it off and putting it off. We wanted to get some more furniture downstairs. So we kept putting it off. And now here we are in the new year. We've been here for half a year now. And um, I don't see us doing it like at least over the next couple of months. You know, I think we're just trying to like, you know, catch our breath after moving. And like I said, just getting all that furniture, getting home automation, all that kind of stuff. So uh, long story short, we're not gonna be getting um, any California closets put in at least not until like the springtime. And so that was sort of my excuse for not, not bothering with the closet. I was like, we're gonna get some customs in there. So I'll just, whatever. Like I still have clothing in suitcases. I still have one box of clothing um, and everything else. Like we've just been using rolling racks. Uh, we have a dresser outside in our bedroom and that's just always where we've kept our dresser. So when we moved in, that's where they put it. And it's stupid because some of our clothing is out there and then some of our clothing is in the closet. So, you know, I'm going to kind of clear out a space and then my husband and I are going to move the dresser into the closet because there's plenty of room for it in there and just have all of our clothing in one space. I'm like, I don't, I don't know why we did that. <laughs> so anyway, that's the plan for today. Okay. So before any closet cleaning can happen, I need to finish getting ready. Um, and I want to share with you one new skincare product that I have been using. I've been incorporating it into my um, morning and my evening skincare routine, and that is the Sulwasu Concentrated Ginseng. I am working with Sulwasu on this video, so a big thank you to them. And if you're unfamiliar with Sulwasu, they are the premier Korean skincare line. They have a, a holistic approach to skincare. And this particular product um, harvests ginseng berries, and it has um, anti-aging benefits. So I've been using this for about two and a half weeks now. This is actually a three week treatment and I probably could have used more <laughs> in the beginning. I was, you know, being a little bit cautious in the beginning, probably the first few days that I started using this, um, but it is really, really lightweight. Let me show you the texture and it comes with this dropper here. So the texture is very, very thin, so it absorbs very, very quickly, which is really, really nice. It plays very well with all of my other skincare, which is really great. I like just incorporating it into my current skincare routine. It's not like I had to remove something or um, it didn't play well with something and I kind of had to like change it up. It just slid right in beautifully. So it almost has like a silky water texture. And what I like to do is just press it into my skin and you can feel it absorbing very, very quickly. And there's no like residue or anything or like tackiness or stickiness or anything left behind. Uh, like I said, it just works really, really well with all of my other skincare. I also felt like my skin, um, I don't know, I hesitate using the word firm because firm to me also 
I don't know, is like a, like a tightness, which I definitely don't feel after using this. It actually feels very moisturizing, but I feel like the, um, the plushness of my skin or the elasticity of my skin uh, was improved. I felt like there was some resilience going on and it's like, it's like a, it's like a taut kind of like bounce <laughs> happened uh, along my cheeks here. And it's really been this like very noticeable change. So that is the Concentrated Ginseng from Sawasu. It is available on their site. This is a fairly new product, so I don't know if it's like carried at all their retailers, but it is definitely um, available on sawasu.com. So I will leave a link to it down below in my description box. Uh, so let me go ahead and finish getting ready and then we'll tackle this closet. Ugh. Okay guys, <laughs> here is my shame. Here is my closet. Yep, just piles of clothes. I've got these rolling racks with stuff flung over them, hanging off. I have a pile of hangers <laughs> with good intentions. We'll be using those today. And then I've got two more rolling racks with stuff flung over them. Absolutely no rhyme or reason. Well, this one actually isn't too bad. This one has all my coats, which I don't use that much here in Vegas, but um, they needed a place. And... I mean, I don't, I don't think there's anything in this luggage. I don't know. This is our hamper. This is a piece of luggage that I used to move. And all I did was just open it up to grab stuff out of there. This was a box of sweaters. I have some chargers here. What is, what is that? Oh, it's like snow boots and stuff. A box of shoes. Before we moved, I donated about a hundred pairs of shoes um, <laughs> and sweatshirts. I have been looking for some sweatshirts. I guess they're in there. I haven't even opened this up since we moved. Um, yeah, yeah, this is what we've got. So I'm thinking of just putting the dresser right here as soon as you walk in to the closet because, you know, quite often we just wanna grab a pair of socks or, you know, just a, a t-shirt or something. So I think easy access to the dresser will be important. I'll be able to like fold up some of these sweaters and put them on top of the dresser. That's the other issue with my whole clothing situation that rolling racks don't really help with the sweater situation unless I want to hang them over hangers and then that's just, I'm too lazy for that. So I just need to be able to fold them up and throw them somewhere. Um, so I think the dresser will be good for that. And then, I don't know, we'll see what happens. I do have two more rolling racks that I can put together that I'm going to do today as well. But yeah, I just, I need to like get it together. Like what what is even happening? Like this is just a whole pile of stuff that I've just been like pulling stuff out of and it's awful. <laughs> it's just awful. I even got pants hangers um, that I need to utilize. There's my Lisa Eldridge sweatshirt. I have, I have like a bathing suit. I don't even remember the last time I was in the pool. It's gotten too cold. So, oh, okay, let's get you this. So here are the two rolling racks that I got and I'm going to put these together and that way I can start hanging up some of the stuff that's just sitting on the ground. are assembled. Uh, let me go ahead and take out these hangers. So I got a bunch of these Amazon Basics hangers. They're like the velvet coated ones. I got these probably about four months ago and they've just been sitting here. Okay, so the one type of clothing that I really just need to get up onto hangers are sweatshirts. I have a ton of sweatshirts and I used to fold them up the way I would uh, sweaters because I didn't have that much hanging room um, in my old closet. But now that I have 
more hanging room and no shelving whatsoever, uh, I'm gonna hang up these sweatshirts. So that's what we're gonna do. Shirts that I think have just been kind of laying around either in that pile out on my dresser um, I still have this box of sweatshirts that I need to go through Wow, what a treasure trove <laughs> of Sweatshirts Glossier is sitting right on top. Oh my gosh, okay Let me drag this box over Actually, since my rolling rack is a rolling rack, I'm gonna bring the rack over to the box. sweatshirt box is empty and I've got all my sweatshirts hanging up here. The ones that I took out of the box, I think I need to wash them. They're really dusty. I had a real dust problem in my old apartment um, that I suspected while I was living there <laughs> because of all the dust over everything. And then after moving here, it was like very evident that I had a dust problem. Uh, anyway, so yeah, I've got a lot of like awesome sweatshirts that I just really love. Um, like these Glossier ones, they're just really thick and plush. I've got a lot of my friends' um, merch ones, like Kate the Great Beauty, the Back It Up, <laughs> the Youngish. I've got Better Off Red's Crew Trime in there. Okay, so this rack is completely full, and in fact, I think it's almost too full, but I just want to keep all my sweatshirts in one place. Hey, I'm trying to figure out what to do next. I'm trying to do everything I can before actually moving the dresser in here. I think what I can do actually is hang up some pants. I have a lot of pants that are just on the ground um, and some flung over uh, some other rolling racks. So I think I'll do that. And I did get some of those um, pants hangers. I really embraced the elastic waisted pants. As soon as I started working from home, I was like, yes, yes, these are the answer to, uh, <laughs> to my prayers. Um, anyway, I have uh, quite a bit more room and I was sitting here debating whether or not I wanted to hang up my jeans. Um, and I think I will because my dresser is really quite stuffed with leggings, <laughs> with the things I wear the most, leggings and like yoga pants and stuff. So, yes, I think I'll go ahead and hang up my jeans. Dreaming on the dance floor, dance floor. I feel like my room is a black hole. I just wore a pair of black jeans yesterday. And I don't know where they are. Oh, they're here. They were underneath my pajamas. I think I'll hang my pajamas over here. And I recently got rid of a pair, actually a couple pairs of my favorite jeans. They were J brand jeans, which I've had for, I don't probably at least 10 years. It was time, it was time. There were so many parts of the jeans, like the inner thighs, the top, like the top part of the jean. It was just like coming apart and all holy. And I loved, love, love those jeans so much, but I just, I just had to say goodbye. Really sad, really, really sad. I don't think they make them anymore. So those are all my pants, my pajamas at the end. I would like to organize the clothing that I have on the rack. 
looking more organized and I kind of put my special shirts over here. I have my Simone Rocha and my Stella McCartney. These two pieces I've had just forever. Um, and then some of my blazers. I have a Stella McCartney blazer. This is H&M. This is H&M. And then this is actually a Chanel. I have a Chanel tweed blazer. This is probably, I don't know, 20, <laughs> 20 years old. It's mink trimmed. Don't yell at me. It's mink trimmed. Um, so that is on this rack. So let me go ahead and do the same thing to this rack, which has all of my dresses. Dresses are done. I don't know if there's anything interesting to mention here. This dress actually is the dress that goes underneath that All Saints sweater you've been seeing me in. And some of my fancier stuff I put at the end here. I have a couple of row dresses, these two, and a couple of Simone Rocha dresses. This is tulle at the bottom. Here is another row dress. This is like a leather tank dress. And this is another row dress. It's like a caftan. I loved wearing this at the beach. <laughs> Haven't done that in a while. Oh, here's a super old Acris dress. I love that one. I haven't worn that in a while either. All right, everything else I think you guys have seen me wear a gazillion times. Uh, I think I'm done organizing the rack. So here are my dresses. Here are my pants. Here, by the way, back there, that's my husband's stuff. He's like super neat. He doesn't know how I function. <laughs> Here are my sweatshirts, and then those are my tops. So I still have my pile of knits, which is what I'm going to be um, folding up and putting on top of the dresser. So I think it's time to move the dresser in here. I just need to figure out how Oof, how um, I'm gonna arrange these rolling racks. All right, I actually have no idea what time it is. I probably should grab some lunch, I'm thinking, and then resume with the dresser and the knits. Okay guys, I had lunch and then my husband and I just moved our dresser into the closet. So here it is. It's, uh, you know, along the wall where the hamper was right across from when you walk in. Uh, we moved it just to the side of this one socket so that we would have access to that. Um, but that's the only rhyme or reason <laughs> why we put it here uh, along the wall. Um, we may have to move it depending on what we put next to it, or I don't even know if we'll have anything next to it. But um, I still have all of my knits that I need to deal with down here. Um, my shoes and this box that I need to take out. And yeah, and just sort of like cleaning up all of this stuff. Some things I found that I do want to donate, um, like that shirt. I have to clean off this. Uh, garment bag, yeah, and some other things, but those are all of my racks. So, next up, I'm going to start folding all of this knitwear and put it on top of this dresser. I still remember the, the, the feeling, the feeling, the, the, the feeling, feeling. I'm not the best folder, <laughs> but at least they're organized on top of my dresser. I have a bunch more nap loungewear, um, like cardigans. They're just in my finishing room right now. I'll bring them in later. Um, but this whole area, those are pants that I need to fold up and put into the dresser. My swimsuit, I actually need to bring 
back downstairs. That is my cover stitch machine when I was doing a lot more sewing. And the movers moved it up here by accident and I just, yeah, I just have left it here. I've used it as uh, a little shelf to throw all my clothes over as you saw before. So I'm gonna move that downstairs and yeah, just, you know, continue picking up this little corner. I wanna get all these boxes out of here and organize. <laughs> Here is the completely cleaned out closet. I decided to use this little corner for my luggage. And uh, we used to have this air filter in my bedroom, but because it got so dusty in here with me unpacking those few boxes, I decided to move it in here. So it's gonna sit there. Here's the dresser, uh, some of my knits on top. We move the hamper right next to it. And then I played around with the placement of all of the different <laughs> rolling racks we have in here now. Um, so I had this uh, shirt rack just against this wall here next to this rack, but because there's like a like a recess for the rest of this wall, it felt like this rack being next to it against this wall felt like it was sticking out and it made this area very, very narrow. So I thought, let me just put it against this wall. It doesn't look I mean, none of this looks great because we're dealing with a bunch of different rolling racks, but um, this is what we've got. All my sweatshirts, my pant one. This is the coat one that I didn't bother touching. Those are just all my coats. Extra hangers, which is really nice. I um, got rid of a lot of older hangers that I've had forever, like malformed and drooping, and my clothes were like falling off of those hangers. So. Anyway, this is it. I have really procrastinated. I really, really dreaded doing this, but it feels really good to have done this. I love the way the closet looks for the moment. Uh, we will be getting actual <laughs> closetry, is that a word? Closetry put in uh, eventually, but now I feel like there isn't that much of a rush. Um, and oh, all those shoes that I had in that corner, I moved those over to my finishing room because that's where I plan on keeping my nicer shoes, my kind of like everyday crappy shoes. Those are all in the garage because I don't, I don't know, I kind of struggle with the idea of having shoes like upstairs in my closet because it's not like I'm gonna put on my nice shoes when I get dressed in the morning and then walk around in my shoes all day. That's just not, that's not what I'm gonna, until I go out. Um, so I feel like keeping shoes downstairs by my exit entryway makes a little bit more sense for me. Um, so I have to figure that out. I have to figure that out. I may get some sort of like custom cabinetry in the garage cause we have space in the garage, but like in the garage for just my shoes, because I feel like that makes sense. Right? <laughs> I don't know. Let me know where you guys keep your shoes. Um, but I think. I think most ladies keep their nicer shoes like in their closet and then their everyday shoes in the garage. And that's sort of what I'm leaning towards. Uh, but anyway, that is it. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Thank you guys so much for showing interest in this video. Otherwise, I probably would have just left my closet a complete disaster um, until we got the custom stuff in there. So thank you for all of your comments. and. A big thank you to Sawasu for sponsoring this video. Don't forget to check out the Concentrated Ginseng, um, the product that I showed you earlier. I'll have a link to it down below in my description box. It is really lovely. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Sorry, butters. No more piles of clothes for you to burrow through. <laughs>